subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video chapter 1 our environment take a look around there are many things around us they form our environment there are stones and rocks and soil there are rivers and streams and lakes there is air there are hills and mountains there are jungles there are fields and houses and roads and also barren lands we also see many different animals around us different types of trees and bushes and climbers make our environment beautiful we too are a part of this environment a sparrow and a roadside stone now let us look at a stone and a sparrow in our surroundings and compare them a stone remains where it is its place changes only if someone picks it up and moves it it doesn't eat so it doesn't grow bigger it doesn't have babies either it's not the same with sparrows they build nests they move here and there on their own they eat insects and grains that is why they grow they lay eggs in nests Little sparrows hatch from these eggs. Sparrows take a lot of care of their young ones. Why do we see these differences between the sparrow and the stone? The sparrow is a living thing and the stone is a non-living thing. things in our surroundings form two groups living things and non living things now living things are of two kinds plants and animals animals have babies and seedlings grow from seeds the seedlings then grow into plants This tells us that plants are living things. Plants too move. For example, when a bud blooms into a flower, its petals open. But movements of plants are not so easily seen. Plants also need food. Of course, Plants do not move from place to place like animals do. Their roots hold them down in one place. This is a big difference between plants and animals. Can you tell? Are the things in these pictures living? a non living well in the following picture the banyan tree rabbit frog the potted rose plant and the coconut tree are living things whereas the gas cylinder the glass and the vessel are non living things 
if it is a living thing, is it a plant or an animal? In the following picture, the banyan tree, the coconut tree and the potted rose plant are plants, while the rabbit and the frog are animals. Use your brain power. A railway engine goes to and fro. Is it a living or non-living thing? Well, a railway engine is a non-living thing. Wood comes from trees which are living things. A chair is made from wood. Now, is the chair living or non-living? A chair is a non-living thing. The relationship between all things in the environment. Water and air are a part of the environment. All living things need them. Living things also need food. They get their food from the environment. Whatever living things need to survive, they get from their environment. Birds will nest. They need cotton, twigs and threads to build them. They get these things from the environment. Human beings use so many things from the environment. We get cotton, wool and silk from our environment. We weave cloth from them. We make things like mats, baskets, paper from materials in our environment. We build houses using clay and stone and wood. These materials too we get from our environment. The seeds from some plants are scattered by the wind. As a result, seedlings of those plants grow in new places. Thus, plants too get help from their environment. Living things take many things from their environment. What effect does that have on the environment? Animals like vultures and foxes eat the flesh of dead animals. Thus, they clean the environment while they satisfy their hunger. Remains of dead animals decay. They mix with the soil. Leaves fall off trees. They too rot and get mixed in the soil. This makes the soil fertile. Plants get nourishment from fertile soil. Thus, living things bring about changes in non-living things too. Do you know? A sheep's body is covered with wool. I'm sure you must have noticed that. The sheep can feed on leaves of shrubs. As it does so, the seeds of some shrubs can get caught in its wool. When the sheep goes somewhere else, the seeds may fall off there. Thus, the sheep helps new seedlings of the shrub to grow in many different places. In this way, the sheep and the shrub help each other. Interesting, right?
what we have learned. Well, first and foremost, there are many things in our environment. Some of them are living things and some are non-living things. Living things can move on their own. Living things need food. Food helps them to grow. Living things produce young ones like themselves. Living things are of two kinds, plants and animals. Living things get all that they need from their environment. Living things bring about changes in non-living things too. All things in the environment depend upon each other. Kids always remember the needs of all living things are fulfilled by things in their environment. Such things should not be allowed to go waste. We must take care that we do not cause harm to the environment. Exercise What's the solution? There are lots of unused pages in last year's notebooks. They must not be wasted. Answer All the unused and blank pages can be detached from the old notebook. One can make three, four smaller notebooks or one big notebook from these blank pages. One can also use these blank pages for doing rough work. One can also use these for drawing or painting. Draw pictures. Draw a picture of a spider's web. Find out why a spider weaves a web. Under the picture, write the information you get. Well, this is the picture of a spider's web. Web of the spiders is produced from the sticky secretion prepared in the body of the spider. The prey of spider gets caught in the web. There are some sticky substances due to which the prey cannot escape once caught. Thus, for feeding purpose, spider weaves its web. Spider also lays its egg in the cocoon which are placed in the web. Think and tell. Number one, what are the uses of cotton? Answer, threads are made from cotton. With the help of these threads, cloth is woven. Cotton is filled in pillows and mattresses. Doctors use cotton at the time of surgeries and also for dressing the wounds. Wicks of lamps are also made from cotton. Number 2. What are chapels made from? Answer. Chapels are made from skin of some animals, that is leather. They are also made from rubber or plastic. Number 3. If there is a loud noise nearby, what will a sparrow do? What will a stone do? Answer. Sparrow is a living thing and stone is a non-living thing. When there is loud noise nearby, the sparrow will fly away while there won't be any effect on the stone. Number 4. What does the house lizard eat? Answer. The house lizard eats small insects on the wall. Number 5. Make a list of the things in your house that are made of wood. Answer. Things that are made of wood are table, chairs, cupboard, doors, sofa, dining table. Number 6. Name the animals that feed on mice. Answer. Cats, 
Snakes are the animals that feed on mice. In the picture below, identify the figures drawn on the dotted paper. Color the triangles red, squares blue, and the rectangles green. This is a triangle. Let us color it red. That is a square. We'll color it as blue. Now this is a rectangle. Let us color it green. This figure is triangular in shape, so it is a triangle. Let us color it red. This is a square. Let us color it blue. Now that's a rectangle, so it should be green in color. 